This is a um, pretty sad video to make, guys. Uh, you know, to be honest, wasn't thinking about uh, uploading something like this to <laughs> YouTube. And uh, so I just wanted to give you guys, like, I guess my side of the story, give you guys some updates, just talk about it. There's been so many comments on literally every single video that I'm posting. If you guys don't know what I'm talking about, Liz posted this video. Um, we really broke up. She's crying. It's emotional. She filmed it just sitting in her bedroom, and I watched the whole thing, and she did tell me she was going to post that video. I think she filmed it the day of and then put it up. I don't think anyone was really expecting to see it, and honestly, you know, this whole situation came out pretty unexpected, but I do want to address, like, exactly what's going on. I want to talk to you guys and get you up to speed on this because it's going to drastically change my life, Liz's life, and then you guys are so amazing and follow us every day, every video, and I love you guys so much for that. You guys have completely changed my life, so it's going to change just things that you're going to see in the way we do things. So, yes, Liz and I broke up. It's 100% real. It's not for content. It's not sensationalized. It's not clickbait. It's, uh, yeah, it's really, it's real life. And, you know, my approach to YouTube has always been to make like fun, amazing content. And not al always is it like 100% connected to me personally, real life. You know, it's like fun and games and I get to go home and whatever. It's not like super raw to, and super invasive to me, if that makes sense. Uh, so that's why this video kind of hits a little bit different, you know, watching Liz's, you know, it's as honest and vulnerable to the world as you could possibly can be in like to a video because it's just literally what's going on and it's such a personal thing you know like it really should only exist between Liz and I uh friends family maybe you know would kind of catch wind or you know hear the update but to expose it to the entire world to literally like a 10 million almost almost 10 million subscribers on my channel and to like be broadcasting it to that and Liz is over six so it's like we're pushing like 17 million like subscribers it's you know, it, it's just kind of crazy, um, and it's just, you know, it's really sad. I don't think it would be fair to you guys to not make this video. There's been so many comments on everything I've been posting since Liz posted her video that I just, I need to address this to explain to you guys what's going on. So she posted that video, but in reality, you know, Liz and I broke up before that. It's been a few weeks. So like the day that you saw her video a couple days ago, like wasn't the day that it actually happened. It's the day she's telling you guys online. This comment says, is no one going to talk about the breakup? Well, that's exactly what I want to do, and I think you're right. I think I do need to talk about this and ex just tell you guys what's going on and just be as honest as I can. So I'm getting comments like, why do you still add Lizzie in your thumbnail? Because we broke up. Uh, well, it's those videos were filmed before we broke up, and when we film a video, it usually takes like a little while to, to upload, so, you know, we still have those. Shame about you and Lizzie, as you both are perfect for each other, and I just hope that you get back together again. Um, well, thank you, Ashley, for commenting that, but, you know, the fact of the matter is I don't think Liz and I are perfect for each other. I'm not sure if that concept exists, and we're not going to get back together. I know that we've done a lot of content around Liz and I, like dating or breaking up and things like that, and, you know, for the most part, it's all, you know, mirrored what happened in real life. But, you know, this is just some next level stuff. You know, it's really not for views at all. Wow, posting a video after she posts the breakup, you really have no idea how much you hurt her. Classy guy. Okay, guys, this is already, like, hard enough for us to go through. Um, and I'm sure a lot of you guys are wondering, like, who broke up with who? Was it, did Liz break up with me or did I break up with her? Well, it's a very mutual thing. Um, and I'm not going to say that I broke up with Liz or that she broke up with me because that's not really the point of exactly what's going on. I know she's crying, you know, like it looks like painful, you know, but it's not that like I went out of my way and I hurt her. It's not that I broke up with her and broke her heart. That's not a, at all what happened. Um, so, you know, people that are kind of siding with Liz, you know, I don't like that. Why'd you break up with Liz? I thought that you got married with her. Well. We got married for a video. We got married for 24 hours. It was a really fun video, um, but we didn't actually get married forever. It was just kind of like, you know, go to Vegas, crazy marriage for 24 hours. Carter, Liz is so sad. Why, just why? You broke her heart and Timar isn't perfect anymore. I used to admire you both. You just left her devastated. Guys, you know, so many of these comments are thinking like this is like a traditional breakup. I want to explain to you guys like what to expect for the future. This really isn't like a traditional breakup where like Liz and I are broken up. We're never going to talk again. We're never going to see each other again. And you know, that's that. 
I don't foresee that really being the case at all. I think Liz and I are going to continue to be friends. Uh, you know, time will tell, but I think for right now, both Liz and I just need a lot of space apart and to just, um, I just really think that Liz and I both need a lot of space apart and time to grow and heal and things like that. Here's another comment that I'm seeing so much. Carter, Liz is so sad. Why'd you guys break up? Eight years of dating and you just broke up. Well, I want to talk to you guys exactly why we broke up. I don't know if Liz really touched on that exactly or I want you guys to hear it from my perspective too. But Liz and I have known each other for a very long time, like 10 years or something, like a pretty large portion of our life. We've done so much together. We started YouTube together. We started each of our channels. We got Millie, we got Kona, we moved to LA and then the second LA house, we moved to the new Timor house here in North Carolina. Like we've literally have done, like lived so much of our lives together. And during that time, we were so involved like with each other emotionally, physically, like we were just literally connected. Um, and the amount of time that we spent every day together was like amazing, like, like 24 hours a day pretty much because not only did we live together, we slept together, we worked together, we ate together. I mean, we were like, we traveled together. Like literally we were like side by side together 24 seven for a very long portion of those eight years of dating. And so basically I felt like every year, the amount of time we spent together was like double your average couple. And so it was like 16 years equivalent of like time spent together is kind of what it is. And when you spend that much time together and that much time as like a cohesive unit, like Carzy, Carter and Lizzie, you start to identify as like a unit as opposed to individual people. And we did that during, you know, a time of our lives where all of our friends for the most part were single or kind of dating around or whatever. They were kind of discovering who, who they are. And I think, you know, uh, Liz and I didn't really get a chance to do that. And so I think a, a big part of why exactly we are now broken up is so we can have that time apart. We can have that time independent and grow and discover who we are, discover what we like. You know, I know it's something that, you know, I've been kind of always struggled with as a person is like trying to figure out like who exactly I am, you know, like self-discovery and same with Liz too. And it was just one thing that I think we ultimately realized we were never going to have the ability to do continuing to date the way we were because we date, we work together and all this stuff. And so as sad and as painful as it is, yeah, I think it's just best that we break up. I hope you guys understand like where I'm coming from with a lot of this. I hope you guys respect Liz and I's boundaries, but moving forward, I want to talk to you guys exactly what to expect. And I think the way it's going to look for a little while is that you might see some stuff being posted with, you know, Liz and I together and stuff, but that's like, you know, it's already been filmed before the breakup and we're posting it. But after that, which is probably pretty much now, you're going to probably see a lot of independence and space between Liz and I. I'm hoping that you guys will see happier versions of ourselves as we grow and become independent and discover what we like. Um, and so there's probably going to be, you know, a lack of Liz on my channel and a lack of me on her channel. Um, we're working on our personal relationship, you know, continuing where I'd still plan on having Liz in my life. I mean, she's literally my best friend. Uh, we've done so much together. And even though we are breaking up, like nothing changes that for me, like internally, like I feel, still think she's one of the most incredible people that I've ever met. And uh, so I'm going to do my best to work on myself and to continue to, you know, welcome her to have her in my life and to continue filming videos with her, working with her, stuff with Team Rar, you know, like, I can't imagine my life without her. You know, it's kind of weird to say, I mean, even though we broke up, I, I still can't imagine my life without Liz. <sighs> this comment says, you should go back and love Lizzie. Do you even love Lizzie? I do, guys. I really do love her so much. Probably, like, more than, I don't know, more than <laughs> I could love anybody, uh, which makes this breakup so challenging to uh, to navigate and he probably wanted to like I, I'm as sad as Lizzie it's like yeah I think so you know I definitely have cried I've definitely shed some tears uh, you know it's been two weeks you know and I didn't feel like pulling a camera out while I was crying to show you guys but you know I definitely have lost some sleep over this I've been still working through a lot emotionally because I just haven't gone through some <laughs> gone through something like this before um, but I'm just trying to stay positive and, you know, apparently it'll take Carter a while to reach 10 million subs because fans are unsubscribing because he broke Liz's heart. Guys, 
Guys, I really hope you understand that neither of us broke anybody's heart. Um, it's just a difficult situation for us to navigate, but it is going to be for the better, I promise. As for me personally, I've been spending a lot of time like just alone, you know, just hanging out here in the garage, just trying to keep myself busy, work on myself, um, and just figure out, you know, how to live my life as a single guy, I guess. I've just been in a relationship with Liz for so long that it just, everything that, like the way my mind works is like, I'm always think, considering her, I'm always thinking of her, I'm always thinking like we, and I need to think more me. Uh, that's a pretty big change for me. Um, I think it's gonna be great. I'm hoping you guys can see me grow and evolve over the next few weeks and months, and just trying to stay, you know, as positive as possible. I also hope that you guys are going to respect both Liz and I. Um, you know, I love each of you guys and leaving comments and stuff. I just don't want any of you guys to be mad at either of us because that is not what either of us want. Please respect Liz. You know, I'm okay if you comment and you think that I broke Liz's heart and you're mad at me. Like, I'm fine with that. I really don't care. I don't think that's the case. It's a sad situation for both of us, but just, you know, please, you know, let Liz just, uh, you know, we got to figure some stuff out on our own. And I'm hoping that we can come back and, you know, be the best versions of ourselves that we can be.